हेलो नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड इन दिस सेशन आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक इंडिया टी वी रिपोर्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एनिमल हजबेंड्री इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड एंड मोर अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स राइट तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं गाइज आज का सेशन विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज गिवन इट्स अप्रूवल फॉर डेक्लेशन ऑफ कुशीनगर एयरपोर्ट इन उत्तर प्रदेश एज एन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट so the question is why kushinagar has been chosen for establishing international airport so recently government ne union cabinet ne approve diya hai for the development of kushinagar airport in uttar pradesh so hamara sawal ye hai ki kushinagar ko kyon choose kiya gaya for establishing international airport all right so now let us discuss about this so recently union cabinet has given its approval for this airport kushinagar guys it is located in the northeastern part of uttar pradesh and is one of the important बुद्धिस्ट पिलग्रिमे साइट्स वेर गौतम बुद्ध अटेन महापरी निर्वाणा ये वही जगह है जहाँ पे गौतम बुद्ध ने महापरी निर्वाणा अटेन किया था राइट एंड इट्स सराउंडिंग एरिया कवर्स बुद्धिस्ट कल्चरल साइट्स लाइक श्रावस्ती कपिल वस्तु एंड लुम्बिनी एंड अदर देन दिस वट आर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस डिसीजन सो गाइज द बुद्धिस्ट सर्किट जिसमें ये सारी जगह आती है जहाँ पे जो कि रिलेटेड है बुद्ध की लाइफ से इट इज अल्गी pilgrimage destination for 530 million practicing buddhist across the globe it will offer improved connectivity and wider choice of competitive costs to the air traveler all right and it will also result in boosting of domestic or international tourism and economic development of the regions ab hota ye hai ki on any given day around 200 to 300 devotees from thailand cambodia japan burma come here but this international tourist destination has no direct connectivity which has been a long pending demand of the visitor kyunki iski koi direct connectivity nahi hai so jis wajah se kafi samay se pending demand rahi hai visitors ki ki ek iski iske sath direct connectivity ki jaye internationally all right so now what was the question so the question was why kushinagar has been chosen for establishing international airport so therefore guys the correct answer will be what option a it is an international pilgrimage tourist destination all right option a will be the correct answer now let's move on to question number 2 which is about india tb report now before proceeding let me tell you that in this report india tb report bahut sara data hai there is a lot of data so aapko wo sara ka sara data yaad karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai and mai sara data aapke samne leke bhi nahi aaya okay because utna sara data yaad rakhna uh, is quite impossible right so let us discuss only the main provisions of this report so with respect to india tb report 2020 released by ministry of health and family welfare in june 2020 which statements is are correct hame batana hai kaun se statement correct hai ya correct hai okay so recently india tb report has been released by ministry of health and family welfare which is headed by dr harshvardhan and uh, uh, according to this report around 24 lakh tb patients have been notified in 2019 which amounts to a 14% increase in tb notification as compared to the year 2018 also there is a reduction in the number of missing case to 2.9 lakh case as against more than 10 lakhs in 2017 okay 2017 mein jo missing case the that was more than 10 lakhs but now in 2019 it has been decreased to 2.9 lakh okay Now this is the state TB index ये आपको याद रखना बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है सो ये बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस की लिस्ट है हमारे तो दो स्टेट विद फिफ्टी लैक पॉपुलेशन गुजरात इज नंबर वन आंध्र प्रदेश इज नंबर टू हिमाचल प्रदेश इज नंबर थ्री स्टेट इज लेस देन फिफ्टी लैक पॉपुलेशन त्रिपुरा नंबर वन नागालैंड नंबर टू एंड इन यूनियन टेरिटरीज दादरा एंड नागर हवेली दमन एंड दू और सो दिस इज द टेबल जो कि आपको याद रखना ही रखना है ओके okay? and this report revealed that tobacco consumption is rising among indian tb patients and 8% of the tb cases can be attributable to tobacco usage matlab jo overall hamare tb patients hai india mein usme se 8% tb cases jo hai wo tobacco usage ki wajah se hai all right and other than this india accounts for 9% of all hiv associated tb deaths in the world which is the second highest number globally all right and hiv testing for all notified tb patient increased to 81% in 2019 from 67% in 2018 now according to this report india notified the highest number of 24.04 lakh tuberculosis cases last year as against an estimated 26.9 lakh cases by who indicating that around 3 lakh patients missed out from the national tb program basically jo india ka tb report hai aur jo who ka uh, estimated fact tha 
इंडिया के टीवी रिपोर्ट के हिसाब से 24.4 लाख 04 लाख पीपल है दैट वर अफेक्टेड बाय टीबी इन द 2018 लेकिन जो डब्ल्यूएचओ का एस्टीमेट है दैट इज 26.9 लाख ऑलराइट एंड इट स्टेटेड दैट 79144 डेथ्स वर अकर्ड ड्यू टू टीबी इन 2019 व्हिच इज मच लोअर देन द डब्ल्यूएचओ एस्टीमेट ऑफ 4.4 लाख फैटलिटीज बेसिकली जो डब्ल्यूएचओ है उसने एस्टीमेट किया था कि लगभग 4.5 लाख पीपल जो है उनकी डेथ हो जाएगी बिकॉज़ ऑफ टीबी इन द 2019 बट ऐसा नहीं हुआ ओनली 79144 डेथ हुई व्हिच इज आल्सो वेरी लार्ज इन नंबर बट यस जो डब्ल्यूएचओ का एस्टीमेट एस्टीमेशन है उससे काफी कम है ओके नाउ व्हाट आर द इनिशिएटिव दैट हैव बीन टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो देयर इज वन नेशनल टीबी एलिमिनेशन प्रोग्राम अंडर व्हिच वेरियस इनिशिएटिव्स आर आर अंडरगोइंग सो इट इज द नेशनल number 1 is the uh, nikshay ecosystem right number 1 is what the nikshay ecosystem which is the national tb information system which is a one stop solution to manage information of patients and monitor program activity and performance throughout the country okay next is nikshay poshan yojana under which financial support to tb patients for their nutrition is provided isme 500 rupees diye jate hain to the TB patients. Next is TB Harega Desh Jitega campaign, and other than this, the Saksham project, which is a project of this Tata Institute of Social Sciences, that has been providing psychosocial counselling to TB patients. All right, and this is very important. Yes, अब आपको पता भी होगा कि जो इंडिया का टारगेट है to eliminate TB is the year 2025, which is five years ahead of the global target by WHO. That is 2030. WHO का जो elimination का target है that is 2030. लेकिन जो ओवरऑल इंडिया का टारगेट है टू एलिमिनेट टीबी दैट इज द ईयर 2025 ओके सो दिस वाज अबाउट गाइस द इंडिया टीबी रिपोर्ट नाउ व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सो स्टेटमेंट वन इज इंक्रीज इन टीबी नोटिफिकेशन इन 2019 यस दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट रिडक्शन इन द नंबर ऑफ मिसिंग केसेस इन 2019 एज कंपेयर टू 2017 एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट एंड इंप्रूवमेंट इन ट्रीटमेंट सक्सेस रेट इन 2019 एज कंपेयर टू 2018 यस दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट सो देयरफॉर गाइस द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी व्हाट ऑप्शन डी ऑल आर करेक्ट ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 3 व्हिच इज अबाउट द एनिमल हस्बेंड्री इंफ्रा डेवलपमेंट फंड व्हिच हैज बीन सेट अप बाय गवर्नमेंट विद अ कॉर्पस ऑफ रुपीस 15000 करोड़ एंड इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ रुपीस 20 लाख करोड़ पैकेज दैट वाज अनाउंस्ड अंडर आत्मनिर्भर भारत योजना टू हेल्प पीपल अफेक्टेड बाय द लॉकडाउन टू प्रिवेंट द स्प्रेड ऑफ कोविड-19 through this fund infrastructure investments in dairy meat processing and animal feed plants would be incentivized under this beneficiaries would have to contribute only 10% margin money and the balance 90% would be the loan component to be made available to them by dash all right so basically question hamara ye hai ki is scheme ke antargat jo beneficiary hai usko keval 10% margin money dena hai aur jo baki 90% hai wo loan component hoga jo ki dash dwara diya jayega all right so hame dash mein inme se एक चीज फिल अप करनी है ओके सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस दिस सो रिसेंटली कैबिनेट अप्रूव्ड सेटिंग अप ऑफ दिस फंड एनिमल हस्बेंड्री इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट फंड ऑफ ₹15000 करोड़ एंड द बेनिफिशियरीज अंडर दिस स्कीम आर फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एमएसएमईज सेक्शन 8 कंपनीज प्राइवेट कंपनीज एंड इंडिविजुअल एंटरप्रेन्योर्स गाइस सेक्शन 8 कंपनीज आर दोस कंपनीज व्हिच आर नॉन प्रॉफिट कंपनीज ऑलराइट नॉन प्रॉफिट कंपनीज को हम क्या बोलते हैं सेक्शन 8 कंपनीज and other than this beneficiary would have to contribute only 10% margin money aur jo balance 90% hoga that would be the loan component uh, that is to be made available to them by the scheduled banks all right jitne bhi scheduled commercial banks hai keval unke dwara diya ja sakega and there will also be a 3% interest sub, sub, uh, subvention to eligible beneficiaries and also there will be 2 years moratorium period for repayment of loan with 6 years repayment period there after एक क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड होगा 750 करोड़ रुपए का दैट विल आल्सो बी सेट अप व्हिच इज टू बी मैनेज बाय नबार्ड एंड गारंटी कवरेज वुड बी अप टू रुपीस अप टू 25% ऑफ द क्रेडिट फैसिलिटी ऑफ द बोरोवर जितना भी बोरोवर ने लोन लिया है उसका 25% तक का गारंटी कवर किया जाएगा जिसके लिए क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड सेट अप किया जाएगा 750 करोड़ रुपए का और जिसको मैनेज किया जाएगा बाय नबार्ड नाउ व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस डिसीजन गाइस सो इट वुड लीवरेज सेवरल टाइम्स मोर प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट इन एनिमल हस्बेंड्री सेक्टर जो प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट है उसको बढ़ावा मिलेगा एनिमल हस्बेंड्री सेक्टर में इट विल आल्सो मोटिवेट फार्मर्स टू इन्वेस्ट मोर ऑन इनपुट्स फाइनली टर्न इन इंक्रीजिंग देयर इनकम उससे उनकी इंक्रीज जो इनकम है वो इंक्रीज होगी फार्मर्स की 
it would help in direct and indirect livelihood creation for about 35 lakh persons right so this is these are some significance of this step now what was the question so the question was under this beneficiary would have to contribute only 10 percent margin money and the balance 90 percent uh, that would be the loan component to be made available to them by the scheduled bank. So therefore the correct answer will be what guys option A scheduled banks. Now let's move on to question number four. The government has approved a 2% interest subsidy scheme for loan account holders under which category of the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. So recently government ne 2% interest subsidy scheme nikali hai un loan account holders ke liye jo, jo ki Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana ke andar aate hai to Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana ke andar teen components hote hai aap sabko pata hoga. Shishu, Kishor and Tarun. Shishu, Kishor and Tarun. So, we have to tell you that in which component the 2% interest subsidy scheme the government has given. Alright, so recently the government has approved a 2% interest subsidy scheme for Shishu loan account holders under the Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana. So, the Shishu loan account holders will give 2% interest subsidy. And this is for implementation of one of the measures relating to MSMEs announced under Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. This will help small businesses tide over difficulties created by lockdown and the eligibility of the scheme is that there must be some outstanding as on 31st March uh, 2020 which is which must not be in non-performing asset category okay jo bhi outstanding hai wo NPA nahi hona chahi, as per RBI guidelines on 31st March 2020 and other than this guys the scheme will incentivize people who will make regular repayment of loans and this will be implemented through the should be uh, which is Small Industry Development Bank of India. It is headquartered in Lucknow, headed by Muhammad Mustafa. All right. And it will be operational for 12 months. And for those borrowers, borrowers who have been allowed a moratorium under the COVID-19 regulatory package, the scheme would commence post-completion of the moratorium period that is from 1st September 2020 till August 31st 2021. While for other borrowers, the scheme would commence with effect from June 1st 2020 till 31st May 2021 or the estimated cost is scheme ki, that is 1542 crores and now what is the need of the move so the current lockdown had a severe impact on small businesses cash flow threatened their ability to service their loan jo small chote chote businesses hain lockdown ki wajah se unka jo cash flow tha wo bilkul stop ho gaya tha jiski wajah se unke jo daily kharche hain wo nahi ho pa rahe the to obviously wo loan bhi dene ke liye uh, able nahi the okay this could lead to default in repayment. Now, what happens is that the repayment, which is loans' repayment, is default. Karte and that can have an impact on access to institutional credit in future. If they default on their loan repayment, they will not be able to take the loan. Mein, wo aage, uh, loan lene ke laik nahi rahte, all right? And as on 31st March 2020, about 9.37 crore loan accounts under the issue category of PMMY with a total loan amount of Rs. 1.62 lakh crores were outstanding, all right? 1.62 lakh crore rupees ka jo loan hai outstanding hai under the shishu category all right so that is why is move ki zarurat thi kyunki agar government interest subvention nahi degi to ye pura ka pura paisa non performing asset mein convert ho jayega now therefore the correct answer is what option a shishu loan all right option a shishu loan is the correct answer now let's move on to question number 5 there are several in Stances of fraud and serious financial irregularities, including the major scam at PMC Bank in 2019. Hence, the central government approved an ordinance to bring banks under the direct supervision of RBI. Which category of banks comes under this ordinance? So, recently, guys, you have to know that urban cooperative banks or multi state cooperative banks are RBI in regulation ke andar, uh, rakha hai, government of India ne, by passing an ordinance. Or essentially, kya hai? because there were several instances of fraud and serious financial irregularities that were going on under this uh, in these cooperative banks all right so therefore the correct answer is what option d a and b both urban cooperative banks and multi-state cooperative banks and remember one thing here that rural cooperative banks are not included here okay now what is the news so the recently central government approved an ordinance to bring all urban and multi-state cooperative banks under the direct supervision of rbi this decision comes after the Several instances of fraud and serious financial irregularities, just like PMC Bank mein hua tha. and till now, all the cooperative banks came under dual regulation of RBI and Registrar of Cooperative Societies, which ki regulatory or supervisory lapses hote the at many of these banks. Matlab abhi tak hota tha ki ye jo cooperative banks hai, inke paas dual regul, ye dual regulation ke andar the, 
ऑफ आर बी आई रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटी लेकिन अब से इस चीज को खत्म कर दिया जाएगा ओके एंड वॉट अबाउट प्रोविजन फॉर रूरल बैंक तो रीजनल तो रूरल कोऑपरेटिव बैंक विल कंटिन्यू टू रिमेन अंडर द डुअल रेगुलेशन ऑफ आर बी आई एंड रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव सोसाइटीज ओके एंड वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ दिस मूव सो गाइज दिस मूव विल एम्पावर द आर बी आई टू रेगुलेट और अर्बन एंड मल्टी स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बैंक ऑन द लाइन ऑफ कमर्शियल बैंक एंड ऑफकोर्स इट विल प्रोवाइड मोर सिक्योरिटी टू डिपॉजिटर्स बिकॉज अभी आर बी आई के अंडर काम करेंगे तो इनके ऊपर स्ट्रिक्टनेस ज्यादा रहेगी तो ये अच्छे से काम कर पाएंगे ओके सो देर फोर द करेक्ट आंसर इज वॉट ऑप्शन डी ए एंड बी अर्बन कोऑपरेटिव बैंक एंड मल्टी स्टेट कोऑपरेटिव बैंक ओके so guys that's it for the session today i hope you like it for more updates do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and guys aapko agar ye session acha laga to please comment section mein zarur uh, batayein thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless